What's up, everybody? It's your boy Stevie the Black. It's S T E V W E the Black. I'm back, and it's finally that time. It's finally that time. It all comes down to this. This Sunday, 4:25 at Lincoln Financial Field, Cowboys versus Eagles. Winner is the NFC East champion. Well, in the Cowboys' case, if they win, they're the NFC East champion. If the Eagles win, they still have to beat the Giants, but theoretically, they would, I guess, technically be the def- they, they, I mean, they could always lose, but I don't see them losing to the Giants. But still, still, you, you get the point. The point is that this Sunday, it, it's all it's all been coming down to this. Now, on paper, and actually on the field, too, the Dallas Cowboys are the better team. They have, I mean, you've seen how the Eagles have played these last two games. Yes, they won, but it's been some sloppy football. There has been nothing that has been perfect. So, you've seen the way the defense played against the Giants in the first half. And you see how the defense played against Miami Dolphins and how they played against the the Redskins. And they just couldn't stop a thing. And if the the Eagles defense plays like that, we're going to lose this game. You've seen the Eagles offense in two of the three weeks put up 30 plus points. But I don't... uh, but then again, those were those were against some sorry defenses. And while the Cowboys defense isn't quite living up to their potential, they aren't sorry. They're not sorry. I've said it time and time again. The only way the Eagles win this game Sunday is if they are everyone plays out of their mind. If they bring their A plus 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 game. That is the only way they win this game. If if they overachieve, they overachieve. If the defense steps up and makes plays and gets takeaways, if the offense overachieves and other than receivers, other than Greg Ward catching passes, if if, if, uh, Carson Wentz doesn't fumble the ball or turn it over, you know, so so things, things have to go absolutely perfect. Doug Peterson has to come up with the game plan, the perfect game plan. Jim Schwartz has to call a great defensive pl- game plan to stop the Dallas Cowboys. Because ever since Amari Cooper has come to the Dallas Cowboys, they have owned us. They have owned us. And that is sad and that pains me and it hurts me, but it's the truth. Excuse me. Everything that you have been during this season, none of that matters. Except I want you to remember the pain and the feeling that you got after the Dallas Cowboys blew you out. Remember the pain and the embarrassment that you felt when you lost to the Miami Dolphins. Remember the pain and the suffering you got from losing, I'll say losing to to both the Giants, not the Giants, the uh the the uh the Patriots and the Seahawks only from this standpoint that only if we had played better, if we had stepped our game up, we could have won these games. Remember all the low points in the season. Remember how you were down 17-3 to to the Giants at halftime. And all you said was, God, let's play better than this. Bring your A++ game. Overachieve. Because if you don't, the Dallas Cowboys are going to kill you. And I got to be honest with you. I'm... I, 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 I'm scared to watch this game because I, I, I just I don't know what to expect. I don't know which Eagles team I'm going to get. I don't know which Cowboys team I'm going to get. We can get the Cowboys team that we saw on Sunday against the Rams or we can get the Cowboys team that lost to Jets. 
And speaking of the Dallas Cowboys, they're bringing all these things up that Dak Prescott is hurt, that he's injured, that he can't move, that he can't move his throwing arm, and everything like that. And they're coming up with all these excuses. Now, maybe it's not an excuse, and maybe it's just maybe these are all facts, maybe these are all true, maybe this is all real, and that's a possibility. But if I'm the Eagles, I'm not falling for any of that. I'm I'm preparing like. It's the game, of, like, my life depends on it, and your playoff lives do depend on it, because you want to make the playoffs, right? You want to make, as much as I want change, you want to make the playoffs. You want to make the playoffs. And if Dak Prescott truly is hurt, you know what that means. That means they're going to run the ball more, and if they're going to run the ball more, that means we're going to see a lot more Ezekiel Elliott. You have to, and I say this with as much emphasis as possible, you must contain, I'll say contain, because Ezekiel Elliott is one of those players that you just don't stop. He's like, he's kind of like a, a Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes type person where you can't stop them because the game, until the game reaches zero, it's not over, they still have a chance, but you want to contain them enough that you can build enough of a lead that they're no longer a factor. So if you get, let's say, uh, let's just say you get a 24-7 lead on them, well, then they're going to have to throw the ball. But if Dak Prescott can't throw the ball, then essentially the game is over, you see? So that's the part of you have to overachieve. You know, if, if especially, again, I'm not believing it. The players aren't believing it. Everyone's saying, oh, no, Dak Prescott's going to play. Dak Prescott's going to play. We'll see how it turns out. Because here's the thing, you can say all these things, oh, Dak Prescott has a shoulder and, you know, he can't throw and he can't do this and he can't do that. But then he'll get out there and all of a sudden he'll be fine. He'll be throwing deep balls and stuff like that. I'm not falling for that, no. So, but just in case if it is true, you test it out. You see, can he throw? Let's see if he can throw. Now, that I'm not letting Amari Cooper or Michael Gallup go, like, get wide open because then, heck, maybe he can make a throw or two. Maybe. Don't know. I'm not testing that, but we're going to see how. How well if he can throw the ball? And like he said, if he can't throw the ball, that means they're going to rely on Zeke. And you know what you have to do. You have to stop Zeke. Every single Zeke is 5-0 and against the Eagles. And I'm sick of losing to him. Elijah, I'm receiving reports from several people that you did not do a thorough job downstairs. I want you to go back and check it. I don't want to see a mess. I apologize for that. Um, so let me continue. I've heard both sides of the argument because I've listened to a couple of different people. I've heard arguments for why the Eagles can win this game. And I've heard arguments of why the Eagles will, can lose this game. I, I'm not shocked at all that, you know, the Cowboys are the favorites. But that means the Eagles are an underdog. <sighs> and you know what happens when they're an underdog. We saw all throughout 2017. We saw it throughout last year. And we're seeing it again this year. We've seen what happens when people doubt the Eagles. We've seen what happens when nobody believes in them. We've seen what happens when they should lose, but somehow pull it out. We saw it against Green Bay. We saw it against Buffalo. We saw it. I'll even say in the second half of the Giants game, when they came back down 17-3, to we've seen, we saw it last year when they went on that one and won their final four, five games to get into the playoff. We saw it the year they won the Super Bowl when they overachieved, well, I won't say overachieved, when they overcame Nick Foles' um, problems or defense or, or, or whatever. They overcame those things and they came up with a game plan to, 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 to fix all that. The point is, whenever their backs are against the wall, they seem to answer the call. Now, I'm not going to say just because that's happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen this time. Because eventually, and I hope I'm wrong, but eventually that luck, that's that's just not going to happen. Eventually, you're just going to run into a team that's just way better than you. And that is the Dallas Cowboys. If you fall behind 17-3 to to the Dallas Cowboys, you're not going to win. If you fall behind, let's see, what were we down? 14 to 10 at halftime to the Redskins? You 
you can still win that game. You can still win the game. But I wouldn't bet on it because they're still going to run the ball. I've seen people say, oh, we're going to win a high-scoring game. I've seen people say the only chance the Eagles have to win is win a low-scoring game. I've seen people say the Eagles' defense plays better at home, but they're like, hey, wait, well, you see what they look like the last three, last three, four games. Are you sure you want to trust the defense? You see, this is what I'm saying. What I've been saying, the moment I start trusting the Eagles in something, that's when they let me down. I started to trust the defense. Oh, the defense is playing, been playing great. Oh, but now all of a sudden they can't stop a thing. I, oh man, the offense—they've been clicking these last couple games. Whew, Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, Greg Ward, Carson Wentz, clutch. Oh man, and all of a sudden they—they—they they, they can't move the ball and get a first down. So every time I started to trust them, they let me down. That's been the theme of the season. So I'm not. I don't trust anybody. I don't trust the team. I don't trust the coaches. Heck, I don't even trust that. I don't even trust the weather. So, I, all I hope is that the Eagles find a way. What does my heart say? My heart says. My heart says we're going to lose this game because. Cowboys are just a better team. They have better players. They have better weapons. That's what my heart says. My head says, I'm not going down without a fight. It's the Dallas Cowboys. Remember the pain you felt when you lost to the Dolphins. Remember the pain and embarrassment you felt when they blew you out a couple weeks ago. And how ironic is it that at the time, both the Eagles and Cowboys were 3-3. Three and three. And now they're both 7-7. Seven and seven. How ironic is that? How ironic is that? I actually find that kind of funny. But, but this is it, man. There is no tomorrow if you lose this game. There is no, oh, well, we still have a chance. No. This is it. This is it. You give everything you got. 60 minutes, you leave it all out on the field. And if you lose just because they're superior team, then you lose. But if you go out there and you overachieve, like you got to have to do, like I said, you got to bring A++++++ game, and you win, well, what does that say about the Dallas Cowboys? So anyway, that's pretty much about it. That's all I've got. This Sunday, it all comes down to this how bad do the eagles want it do they want it so bad they better want it you know the eagles fans at lincoln financial field they're going to be hyped they're going to be energized their link's going to be rocking we know how bad the fans want it but how bad do you want it fletcher cox how bad do you want it zackers how bad do you want it Jim Swartz how bad do you want it Carson Wentz how bad do you want it Doug Peterson how bad do you want this you said and I quote the Dolphins just wanted it more than us which shouldn't have happened but it was true so now I have to ask you how bad do you want it do you want it so much, so much that you're willing to give it all? Blood, sweat, and tears, and heck, even if you do get injured, you're like, nah, I ain't going out, not like this, nah. If I got a broken leg, I'm going to finish this game first, and then you can put me on IR. But I ain't stopping playing this game until it says double zero, and we hear the people say the Eagles win. How bad do you want it? We're going to find out. So with that being said... That's pretty much about it. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to watch the game. I don't know. Only from the standpoint that I'm so scared and I'm so nervous. I don't know what's to expect, so I don't know what's going to happen. Do I'm going to watch? I don't know. I'm probably going to end up watching, but I'm going to be so scared because I remember sitting in that living, in that, not living room, sitting in the rec room, watching the Dallas Cowboys sweep, sweep us. Swept, watch us getting swept by the Cowboys. 
while we were Super Bowl champions. Remember that. They swept you while you were Super Bowl champions. Remember that pain. Remember it. I remember it. Remember it. Embrace it. And get it done. So with that being said, that's pretty much about it. I'll see you Sunday after the game. And I hope it's I hope it's for goodness. I, I hope it's I hope it's a good video and not a bad one. Peace.